is Friday, and that means we're talking movies. That's right, and Rod Edens joins us now for this week's movie, Pass or Fail. Bet big, win big. It's the only way to put it. In Takers, a group of high-class thieves, including Hayden Christensen and Chris Brown, try to stay one step ahead of an obsessed cop played by Matt Dillon. But when a former member of the gang, played by rapper T.I., shows up with a new target, they have to figure out if they can trust him. I got a deal we need to discuss. Takers has all the elements of a slick heist film, including thieves living the high life, impossible schemes, and some pretty good stunts. The film's biggest problem, the uneven acting. It has a large ensemble cast, and while some of them do a great job, others are not as polished. Not good. Not good. As you can imagine, there is a lot of gun violence and death, about what you can expect in this kind of cops and robbers flick. Takers isn't a particularly bad film, but it's not really a good film either. But at least you get to see Chris Brown get hit by a bus. All right, that is going to leave a mark. So yeah. it's not a terrible film. It's not a great film. I'm giving it a pass with the C. So, you know, if, if you've got nothing better to do this weekend, also, there's also the big Avatar re-release, and uh, The Last Exorcism is getting some pretty good reviews for a scary And Chris film. Brown hit by a bus. And Chris Brown gets of hit course. by a bus. What more could we ask what for? What more could you possibly want in life? Can we have it in 16 by 9, please? Ron, oh, you like that? Ooh. I did like it. I did. I did like it. And uh, I hope everybody around here appreciates all the new stuff that we're doing at the station. A great set and everything. A lot of great work for a lot of people. We have room. <laughs> Definitely room to grow. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. Have a great weekend.